Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first video that I'm uploading for a nail tutorial. Um, some of you might already be subscribed to my other channel which is Laura Ann. Um, that's where I upload makeup tutorials but this one is just going to be dedicated to everything nails and yeah I'm gonna hopefully get lots of content up for you um, over the next couple of weeks. So starting off with this tutorial we are going to be creating this lovely nail today. This is like a galaxy effect uh, nail and yeah without further ado let's just jump straight into the tutorial. So I've already prepped my Colourpop. This one's from Magpie and I prepped it using the Magpie 240 buffer. Um, just taking the shine away and then using my duster brush to dust away any of the dust that was left. And then I'm going in with Magpie gel colour in Black Betty. You can see me applying it there then and I just cured it for 60 seconds in the Magpie lamp. When that was ready, I applied a second coat of Black Betty and again popped it into the Magpie gel the Magpie lamp and cured for 60 seconds. So now I'm taking a wipe with a bit of Magpie Prep and Dehydrate. I'm just taking away the shine on my nail and the inhibition layer. And I'm going in with Magpie uh, Gel Paint in white. And also I'm going to be using the Chrome Tool. This went out of focus by you, so I do apologize for that. But I'm just going to be using this Chrome Tool and dipping it into the um, gel paint and just really lightly patting that onto that nail just to create more of a diffused kind of effect rather than drawing on straight with like a brush um, as we are doing a galaxy I wanted it to be quite like cloudy looking um, rather than straight up colour so that's why I decided to opt for the chrome um, tool to use this so I'm just going ahead creating whatever shape you could do this in whatever direction you want you could do it the other way you could do it straight down you could focus on the middle but obviously I've opted for like a diagonal design so I cured that for um, 60 seconds in the magpie lamp and now you're going to be taking some gimme strength and I'm just using the back of my magpie um, like catching uh, tray for this because I left my palette at the salon um, and I'm just popping a few little dots of give me strength onto the back and then I'm going in with my inkies now I took the purple the pink the dark blue and the light blue and I just dropped um, a couple of drops into the give me strength and then using a dotting tool I just mix them together this will create kind of like a semi sheer gel color it was the first time I ever tried this actually and I was really happy with how it came out. This would also be a really good technique to use if you was doing something like a stained glass nail or some nail art to that effect. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I've just mixed them together and now they're like semi-sheer. And I'm taking the Magpie Illustrator brush and we're just going to literally apply all these different colours right on top of our white. Now the reason I didn't go straight in with the inkies straight on top of the white is because I didn't want to be... Um, like dispersing the color too much with some with prep i wanted to just try this technique out and see if it did work and i was pretty chuffed that it did <laughs> um but i'm just going back and forth now with all the different colors and i'm just um mixing them together to get the color payoff and the pattern that i want obviously i'm focusing the blue mainly in the middle of the galaxy um and then i'm blending a bit of purple into the blue and then finishing off with pink on the edges and then after you have got everything where you want it you just need to pop that into the lamp again and cure for 60 seconds which is exactly what I did and then when I pulled it back out the lamp I thought mm, I kind of want it a little bit more intense so I'm just doing exactly the same I am mixing um, give me strength with the inkies again but this time I'm really intensifying them so I'm putting a lot more drops of the inkies in um, just to get that colour payoff um, nice and bright because um, when I put it back onto the nail then it's going to look a little bit more vibrant and you're going to really see the colours kind of mixing together and they're going to really stand out on top of that white.
So as you can see, now that I have um, mixed them again with a little bit more of the inkies, they are a lot more vibrant. Um, so I'm just doing exactly the same as I previously did, just going back in over those colours um, and mixing all these colours together. And you can really see it's starting to take effect now. The reason um, as well that I use the chrome brush at the chrome tool earlier is that if you look closely at these inkies now because of the sheer consistency you can kind of see the pattern of like how to explain it like of the chrome tool underneath if that makes sense like the sponginess that is exactly what i wanted because a galaxy when you look at it isn't just blocks of color it looks quite speckly quite dusty um and that is the effect that i wanted quite like a, you know a dreamy kind of effect if that makes any sense whatsoever but I'm just going back and forth now really focusing again on that blue and really building up that pigmentation right in the center of the nail and then once you are happy again with all your placements you're going to be popping that straight back into the lamp and curing for another 60 seconds making sure as well to wipe off your illustrator brush you don't want to be leaving all gel in there and then when that comes out of the lamp I'm taking the birthstone um collection glitter called april um you could use blossom for this if you didn't have april to hand i'm just popping a little tiny bit into the glitter lid and then i'm going to be taking my magpie applicator brush i'm just grabbing some of that glitter and i'm not actually touching the nail i'm just like tapping the, the brush with my nail and um just kind of sprinkling it on if that makes sense because i only want a little bit of glitter i want to dust in rather than like full on sparkle um so after you've done that again pop into the lamp cure for 60 and then when that's ready you're just going to take your duster brush and just dust off um quite firmly to make sure that there's no dust left over on any of the black making sure that you only focus the glitter on the actual galaxy effect then once you've done that you're going to be taking give me strength and you're going to cap the whole nail in give me strength and again cure for 60 and then when it comes back out you're going to give it a wipe with prep and dehydrate and again we're going to be using the magpie gel paint and this time we're going to be using a dotting tool i'm just going and placing random little circles all over the nail where i want to and then grabbing the detailer brush also by magpie as you can tell everything in this video is by magpie i'm just going to be really lightly um dragging the center of the circles out up down side to side and also diagonal we're just going to create little stars and um, this will really obviously enhance the effect of a galaxy and as you can see i didn't really like the one that i'd done in the corner so i just wiped it off with some prep and just reapplied Once you finish drawing your stars you're going to go back into the gel paint and using the tip of your detailer brush you're just going to be adding some dots um, onto the nail just to give the illusion of like a cluster of stars um, I just stuck to a place in them right around the bigger stars um, just to make it look obviously more realistic and to make um, it look more like a galaxy So once you are happy with your stars and clusters of stars, just pop it into the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. And then obviously when you bring it back out, you're just going to apply a um, another coat of Give Me Strength and cure for another 60. So when that came out the lamp then, I really wanted to intensify that blue a little tiny bit more. So I just wiped the whole nail with prep and dehydrate again. And then I just took the inky straight from the bottle, the darker blue, and just applied that straight onto um, the nail right on top on top of the blue that we previously done. Um, and then to disperse that, I'm just taking a little bit of uh, prep and dehydrate on my um, illustrator brush and just dispersing that out. Um, it really made a massive difference when I done this as to what I looked like when I first came out the lamp. I just wanted to add a bit more of a pop of blue if that made any sense. You could have just left it how it was but I just felt like I needed to do it. So after we have done that we are then going to be top coating in Don't Be Tacky and again 
pop that into the magpie lamp to cure it for 60 seconds with your top coat make sure you are actually getting every little bit of that nail and that there is no bits left untouched so once they've come out the lamp and you are all cured this is the final design um i was obsessed with how it came out i was super happy um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hopefully there will be lots more content within the next couple of weeks for you all um i've also popped my social media links uh in the description box below and somewhere on the screen as well if you want to go and follow me um over on there but yeah thanks so much for watching guys and i will see you in my next video bye